What's up guys, it's Scott here and welcome back to Fudge Muppet. Today we've got a very special build for you all, one we know many of you have been waiting for. This is our Fallout 4 build for The Courser. The Courser is a master detective known in pre-war Boston for her exceptional inspective abilities. She is a predator who uses her skills of awareness and observation to hunt down her prey. These finely tuned sensors combined with her aptitude for long range energy rifles makes her the perfect candidate to become the first and only human courser. Since designed to become coursers are well known for being smarter, faster, stronger, and more perceptive than the average synth. And this former private investigator could even make them look like amateurs. The Courser utilizes energy-based explosives, mines, grenades, and rifles with unparalleled accuracy and competency. She is calculated and methodical when carrying out contracts, unaffected by attempts to play on her conscience. She locates synths and delivers them to the Institute without question. She may not be a synth herself, but she is a born Courser. This build really excels at long distance, relying on precise shots and stealth modifiers to dish out devastating damage. Be sure to check out the description of this video for links to each section of the build, but first, let's get into the backstory. The Courser was born into the typical suburban life on the outskirts of Boston. At a young age, she found herself uninterested in playing with dolls. She preferred to unchain her imagination and conjure up hypothetical murder mysteries in which she was the suave detective, fearlessly tracking down and capturing the baddies. When it really came to late at night, she would sneak from her bedroom, then along the hallway, remembering to skillfully slither around the one notoriously creaky floorboard and down into the living room so she could watch late reruns of crime dramas while her family slept. To her, this process was a top secret infiltration that only a super sleuth like her could pull off. The rest of her time was spent at Hubris Comics where she would eagerly await the release of the late latest Silver Shroud. With her track record of arresting imaginary crooks, she was convinced she could give the Shroud a run for his money. In high school, the Corsa took a shine to legal studies. Despite not being the most academically gifted student, her passion for the subject and hardworking nature more than compensated. Her ability to get a read on people, examining their psychological behaviors and body language was uncanny. She found she could get an understanding on the motivations of others by simply observing them. This analytical approach to interacting with others may have been detrimental to having a thriving social life, but the Corsa was a rather reserved youth and had no issue in keeping to herself. She finished high school with strong grades and followed the traditional academic procedure, enrolling for tertiary studies. She attended Massachusetts Bay University to obtain a law degree. She thoroughly enjoyed the university lifestyle and dabbled in a number of minor subjects which interested her. During this time, she minored in physics and studied briefly under Professor Stuart Campbell, whom she admired greatly. Campbell would later go on to create an improved version of the laser rifle for the US military. This development was known as the prototype UP-77 Limitless Potential. The course's time at university gave her the necessary skills to pursue a career in law and also a working knowledge of the science behind energy weapons. After her studies concluded, the course became an attorney, but she was soon discouraged by the frequent injustices and failings of the Massachusetts court system. She noticed the limitations of her role in being able to take an act part in catching criminals, which disappointed the child in her. She disdained lazy police work and after a year as an attorney, decided to open her own private investigations agency. Business was good and she soon developed an impressive reputation. Her last notable case was a reported burglary. Her client was an ex-military man whose car had been stolen, as well as various other valuable items and heirlooms, including the wedding rings of his deceased parents with matching love, honor, and cherish engravings. The victim Nate insisted on working with her to find the culprit, and during the investigations, the two fell in love. Soon after completing the case, the Corsa gave up the detective game and settled with her new husband in Sanctuary Hills. And then, on October 23rd, 2077, the bombs dropped, and the Corsa fled to the vault with her husband and infant child. When she leaves the cryo chamber, the Corsa is focused on locating Sean. Despite truly loving her husband and son, she is unusually stoic. Rather than getting overwhelmed with emotion, she enters the private investigator mindset 
set, determined to do whatever it takes to track her son down. She is utilitarian in her approach, not letting herself be restrained by upholding a pure moral compass. Reverting back to the life she'd known before having a family felt natural and was a coping mechanism for her. She has no trouble detecting clues leading to Sean and eventually finds herself on the freedom trail. She has a suspicion that the railroad may be able to help her on her endeavors and finds their headquarters effortlessly. After her first encounter with Desdemona and the railroad, she respects their noble motives, but is determined to complete her task and will simply use them to advance her goals. Once her search ends, she cuts ties to the railroad with apathetic ease. The Institute suits the course's values perfectly. She shares the overall ideology and will agree that the synths belong to the Institute. She was passionate when she helped her husband reclaim his stolen property, and she believes using her talents to recover synths is the right thing to do. She sees the role of a courser as one that resembles the post-war version of the principles she used to uphold as an investigator before the bombs fell. She proceeds to make Institute history becoming the first human courser. During her time with the railroad, the courser will use them to find Sean and most importantly, to acquire the ballistic weave. After assisting the Institute in achieving their mission, she will take place plenty of radiant quests, tracking down synths, as well as locating blueprints and tissue samples, and eliminating enemies of the Institute. Okay, let's move on to the stats. The Corsa will start the game with 2 Strength, 9 Perception, 3 Endurance, 1 Charisma, 5 Intelligence, 7 Agility, and 1 Luck. Find the special book in Sean's old room and allocate its point into Endurance to really bolster the health and physical fitness of this build. Since her childhood chasing illusory felons, the Corsa has made a career being a student and resolute in the deliverance of justice. Her remarkable perception can be attributed to this. Nine points augmented by the perception bobblehead means no one in the Commonwealth can match the course's keen eye. Her sixth sense, VAT's efficiency, and the various associated perks will keep her one huge step ahead of the rest. As her name suggests, the courser will often find herself in the thick of the action, traversing potentially dangerous terrain. A base three endurance plus the special book, bobblehead, and three perk points means she can fend for herself just fine. You don't excel as a professional crime fighter without a considerable amount of tenacity. The Corsa was a diligent pupil and learned a lot from a number of renowned professors. Her intelligence reflects this. While her primary emphasis was centered around law, she gained valuable scientific knowledge from her time under Professor Campbell. As a result, she has a proficient understanding of energy weapons, medicine, and the use of computers. These skills will prove very worthwhile as she uses advanced technology in her work as an institute courser. Her time as a private investigator was made significantly easier by her ability to implement stealth in pursuing criminals and finesse in dealing with them. After all, the courser never once woke her parents during years of slyly watching late night television dramas. Seven points of agility in addition to the agility bobblehead means not only will the courser identify her targets from a distance, but she can apprehend them expertly before they even have a chance to react. With the exception of her late husband, the courser wasn't particularly popular. She was more practical than personable. And while that shows in her perceptive prowess, charisma was certainly lacking. The courser won't be relying on a silver tongue to retrieve and reset escaped since, to the Institute, this is a strong point. Developing close personal relationships is an innately human trait, and courses are expected to be pragmatic and unsympathetic when carrying out their work. Similarly, the courser does not attribute her effectiveness to luck. She doesn't stumble upon clues thanks to good fortune. She identifies and pursues potential leads through attention to detail and situational analysis. One point in each peaking at two with the corresponding bobbleheads is the way to go for this build. Lastly, two points of strength and the strength bobblehead will allow the courser to utilize the ballistic weave courtesy of the railroad. So you've got the stats, now let's look at some of the essential perks. Continuing from where we left off, you'll want to take all ranks of the armorer perk. This will be available whenever you grab the strength bobblehead from the mass fusion building. This perk will allow you to turn the courser's standard issue uniform from a scrap of cloth to a viable combat apparel with the trusty ballistic weave reinforcement. There are no limits whatsoever in the perception skill line and the courser will put Put seven of these perks to use. The Corsa's sharp vision combined with her knowledge of energy weapons means her aptitude with a laser rifle demands respect. Taking all five ranks of riflemen will make all non-automatic rifles deal double damage, ignoring 30% of the target's armor. As a bonus, there is a much higher chance of crippling limbs. Automatic weapons can be useful, but her ability to mark enemies from a distance would be wasted. 
Next, we have three ranks of Locksmith, granting the Corsa the option to tackle every type of lock. As an investigator, subjectively immoral acts are sometimes necessary, and the Corsa is always prepared to do whatever it takes. No synth will be able to hide behind a locked door from this Institute agent. All Corsas come fully equipped with the latest advancements in energy weapon technology, and the Demolition Expert perk enhances her plasma and pulse grenades considerably. Maxing this stat doubles the explosive damage, and any explosive shot in VATS mode will deal double damage as well. Taking the first two ranks of Night Person provides plus three intelligence and perception between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. and grants night vision when sneaking. The course's tendency to strike from the shadows just got a whole lot deadlier and she will level up much faster. If there is one trait that is unmistakably associated with the Corsa, it's that she's focused. And with the Sniper perk, she will have improved breath hold time when using scopes, an improved chance of knocking down targets with non-automatic scoped rifles, and plus 25% accuracy to headshots in VATS. To put the cherry on the cake, the Corsa's already astounding combat capability is amplified by the Penetrator and Concentrated Fire perks. You can't hide from this detective, so taking cover is a waste of everyone's time. Both levels of the Penetrator perk allow the Corsa to target an enemy's body parts that are blocked by cover with no decrease in accuracy. And thanks to Concentrated Fire, consecutive attacks on the same body parts in VATS will gain 20% accuracy and 20% damage. Even though endurance is a valuable special stat for the Corsa, we won't be recommending any perks in the stat tree. Instead, allocating three perk points to the overall stat will offer a must-have boost to health. Who says university miners are meaningless? Certainly not this woman. The Corsa will use her intelligence to take three ranks in the Medic, Hacker, and Science perks. Stimpaks restore 80% of lost health, and Radaways remove 80% of radiation with the Medic perk, and the Corsa will have no problem confronting encrypted terminals with Hacker. The Corsa will be equipped with energy weapons, and three levels of the Science perk will give access to rank three high-tech mods, ensuring her weapons pack a punch against any opposition. Last but not least is Agility. Perks from this tree go hand-in-hand -hand with with perception, increasing the course's effectiveness from range. Maxing the stealth perk makes her 50% harder to detect when sneaking, and also she will no longer trigger floor-based traps and mines. Running won't negatively impact stealth, and engaging in stealth will cause distant enemies to lose her. The ninja perk multiplies ranged sneak attacks by 3.5 times normal damage, so long-range sneak attacks, the course's forte, will deal catastrophic damage. This Corsa could probably vaporize a rad roach in the capital wasteland from the window of her house in Sanctuary Hills. It's hardly a surprise that this woman is the perfect candidate for hunting stray synths. Finally, at rank three, the Action Girl perk regenerates action points 75% faster, enabling the Corsa to operate with little concern over stamina. Not including gear, but including all the bobbleheads, the Corsa's endgame special stats will be 3 Strength, 10 Perception, 8 Endurance, 2 Charisma, 6 Intelligence, 8 Agility, and 2 Luck. Despite being the first human to ever take on the role, the Corsa will adhere to the characteristic Corsa aesthetic. The ideal outfit is the Corsa uniform reinforced with Mark V Ballistic Weave. After upgrades, the outfit will boast a formidable 140 damage resistance, 125 energy resistance, and 15 radiation resistance. On top of this, it offers a bonus of plus one to perception and endurance. For a weight of only 15 pounds, that's pretty noteworthy. Obviously, that cannot be acquired straight out of the gate. Until then, the faded trench coat gives a nifty plus two perception bonus and fits the pre-war PI style of the Corsa. As for her arsenal, the Corsa requires some firepower to perform her institute duties. The primary weapon that will be ideal for the build from day one is the laser rifle. The institute rifle is also important to fit the build, but this is more for the bolder players who relish a challenge, as the laser rifle is just a better weapon and doesn't take up so much of your screen. As you progress unlocking new modding perks, you'll want to upgrade your laser rifles predominantly by making them single-fired, scoped, long-barreled, and maximum damage per shot. Modifications like these will suit the perception and agility-based perks like Rifleman and Ninja the most. You can opt to use any legendary laser rifle variants you stumble across in the Commonwealth, including Righteous Authority for the added critical hit bonuses, or alternative 
alternatively, the prototype UP77 Limitless Potential. Not only does this variant possess the never-ending effect, purging the need to reload, it also fits with the backstory of the course perfectly. It is found at University Point, the location of what was once the Massachusetts Bay University, and was designed by her former physics professor. Her extra equipment consists of a healthy supply of plasma and pulse grenades. These will come in handy when the subtle approach isn't possible, and also as many stealth boys as she can carry. Prior to discovering the Institute, the Corsa will work alongside the railroad and specifically Deacon. Taking him on as a temporary companion until you reach maximum affinity is recommended. His affinity perk, Cloak and Dagger, is tailor-made for the Corsa, contributing a tasty plus 20% sneak attack damage and plus 40% duration to stealth boys. Another temporary companion is McCready. The kill shot perk adds a plus 20% chance to hit an enemy's head in vats, making the Corsa even more deadly with each shot of the laser rifle. After becoming a fully-fledged Corsa, you can ditch the other companions for X688. He'll be your endgame companion and can fulfill a lot of your buddy cop bantering needs. Although, you may begin to wonder if he was programmed to understand humor after the first few attempts at conversing with him. The Corsa will have the Institute headquarters as a base of operations, so there is no need to worry about settlements. And there it is, ladies and gents. That concludes the latest Fudge Muppet Fallout 4 build, the Corsa. We hope you have fun requisitioning runaway synths and long live the Institute. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. As always, be sure to suss out the description. There you'll find all the timestamps for the build as well as our social media accounts where you can follow us and keep up to date with everything Fudge Muppet. I've been Scott and thanks for watching.